So um, this GDC uh, on Monday, actually, we publicly released a NVIDIA Highlights SDK and plugins. Uh, may, many of you probably aren't familiar with what Highlights is, but Highlights is a automatic video and screenshot capture system uh, available through an SDK. So Highlights uh, lets a game automatically capture interesting events in the form of video sn snippets, like snackable videos or screenshots. Uh, it also lets the user uh, in, the, in the game open up a UI, preview what has been captured, and then automatically upload those to YouTube, to Facebook, to Weibo, which is a Chinese uh, social media site, uh, and Google Photos via animated GIFT. Or save them to the local hard disk as MP4s, which they can then edit or upload to other social media that they want. Uh, and it also allows them some control over the encoding in terms of resolution, bit rate, uh, and quality. So I want to switch over real quick. Uh, I've got a video that sort of demonstrates conceptually what, uh, what this does. Yeah, so that was an example, just a, a quick run through to sort of give you a, a feeling. And I'm going to walk through all the pieces that were sort of in that video uh, through an API description right now. But basically, what we saw was uh, you know, a quick showing of the user playing the game. Um, they did some interesting stuff. Those videos were automatically captured, and then they reviewed them and uploaded them to social media. Super fast, easy. The idea of high NVIDIA highlights is that it doesn't break immersion in the game. Um, we already have a shadow play capture, which allows the user to hit a button and start a video recording and stop a video recording manually. Um, but that requires that the user sort of pull themselves out of the game uh, and try and guess when something interesting is going to happen and when it stopped happening, or just record a gigantic video of their entire session and then have to edit it later on, which is, a, is kind of a burden on the game user. Uh, NVIDIA Highlights allows the, the users just to play the game as they normally would, and then at the end, Review, what was cool, what did I like, what, what, what was nice, and then upload that to, you, to videos really easily. So how does it do this? <clears throat> Sorry, I went over the benefits basically. It's fully automatic, uh, no lack of immersion. From the, for the developer side, from your side, it, it's even easier than Ansel to integrate. There are like a half a dozen calls. There's no impact to the render uh, pipeline. There's no effects that don't work with it. Um, you just basically tell highlights, capture video now from five seconds ago till five seconds from now. Uh, and it's really that easy. So on a, on a high level conceptual, like you begin some match or level or quest within your game. And then at some point, interesting things happen that you've identified the, uh, your own game logic. This is, again, different per game, but the, the concept of interesting things happen is universal to all games. So once something interesting happens, then you just say, boom, capture it. And then at the end of the quest or at the end of the match or at an otherwise point in time when the user is comfortable and relaxed and has time to review their highlights, you allow them to open up the video uh, summary window and then they can review what they've seen so far. Um, this is a little bit more detail into that high level process. And this example is from the point of view of a sort of a match based game, like a shooter game like Fortnite or PUBG. So a game session starts. So this is uh, launching the game. Uh, launching a match, so like they've connected to the lobby, they click play, and then boom, they're in the game, they're starting to play. Some st all the action happens, a player does something interesting, like maybe kill five guys in a row. Uh, and the game determines that that's an interesting highlight. So it triggers um, GFE to save that. So it says, hey, you know, save, save n seconds you know, from whatever time I think was appropriate for that, for that highlight. And then GFE says, okay, I save it. And then the match keeps going, maybe more highlights happen, and then the match ends. And at the end of the match, there's a, a summary window or back to the lobby. The user is not engaged in a fight for their life, and they're not really pushed upon by the game right now. They have some time. You can open up a summary window, you can review your highlights, you can upload your highlights, you can trim your highlights. Uh, and then they can, yeah, as I mentioned, they can upload. And then the game can continues. They start a new match, they get more highlights, and then cycle is like that. Oop, what happened? Yeah, so before I get into, I'm going to get into even more technical detail about the, how simple it is to integrate highlights. But before we do that, I wanted to talk a little bit about what makes a good highlight. So as I mentioned, we have uh, Shadow Play, which allows users to record you know, arbitrary long videos with a manual button press. Highlights is not that. Highlights is intended to record only small clips that users want to upload, something that they found interesting or funny. It's not intended to record the entire match. Uh, it's meant to 
to supplement other, uh, the shadow play side of things. So some examples were you know, killing a boss or doing revenge kills or a long range snipe or finding that rare item in the game that most users don't find. Um, otherwise, unique uh, achievement style uh, events and then capturing the time around those events so that the user can have them for upload. So the highlights architecture itself technically looks very similar to Ansel. It's, it's basically two parts. Um, your game includes uh, the SDK. So it, it links against this very thin SDK, which is a DLL that communicates via IPC to GeForce Experience. And the GeForce Experience talks to well, Shadowplay. It says Shadowplay, but actually it, it, it is separate from Shadowplay. It's a very similar backend to Shadowplay, which is a, a low overhead video capture system that snoops the driver's buffers to allow us to, to capture video or to maintain capturing a video with very little impact to the frame rate. So it's about a 1% hit to have this enabled, which is, is extremely low, uh, especially compared to sort of off the shelf uh, video capture technologies. The SDK is, as it is available today. It was available from Monday. Uh, it is, consists of three things right now. An SDK, a C++ SDK off of our NVIDIA Git work, a GitHub, uh, an Unreal Engine plugin, which is also, it's a native engine plugin, also available off our GitHub, uh, and a Unity Asset Store plugin. Before I get into the C++ plugin, I wanted to talk really quickly about how you would use it in Unreal or Unity if you were in one of those two engines because it's extremely simple to get those to work. So I mentioned it's a, for Unreal, it's a, a native engine plugin, but it is a native engine plugin with no uh, other engine changes. So you can take any branch of Unreal 4.18 or 4.19 that you have, even your own local custom branch that you've made changes to, and just get submodule, our native plugin, right in line into your game. And then you rebuild your engine and you immediately have access to it via an editor plugin. Uh, and this gets you access to blueprints as well as a C++ interface to highlight. In, uh, we're using Unreal types, which is nice. Uh, Unity is even easier. Uh, you just add the Unity plugin to your game and you get a C Sharp class that has all of the access to NVIDIA highlights that I'll, I'll talk about now. Oh, sorry, I'll talk about after I give you this information. So the, it actually, it says currently 4.18. We actually finished 4.19 in time for our release, so we have 4.18 and 4.19 branches for Unreal. Uh, and for Unity, it requires 5.6, Basic or Pro, uh, and or uh, Unity 2017. Our samples, which we have two samples in the, in the Unity Asset Store for the highlights, uh, both require 2017. But uh, if you don't want to use the samples, you can just use 5.6, and that's fine. And then as for how to enable uh, highlights in a C++ scenario, uh, it, it's also pretty simple. Like it's just a, a couple of header files and a DLL, as most game works are. Um, one thing I wanted to mention with this is that there are two header files, and you may, may be wondering why. Highlights is part of the GeForce Experience SDK. Now currently, the GeForce Experience SDK is pretty much just highlights. But ultimately, it will include other uh, sub-modules, which is the reason why we have a GeForce SDK and a highlights a header and a highlights header, so separately. The GeForce SDK will be more in the future, but for now, it's, it's primarily highlight. Um, so basically, you add those to your code, you link a lib or load DLL, um, and then you run. 